So I think this is actually going to be one of the only vlogs where I offer my opinion after the match. So if you want to stick around until the vlog is finished and hear my afterthoughts of the game, then please do so.
The game's over, it is now the morning after and I've taken that time to be less annoyed at the result and be less, not in terms angry, but less fed up about it. So, I mean, going from the start, a lot of us underestimated Gladbach. We thought, they've got four first team players injured, we're going to run them over. That did not happen. And I knew that wasn't going to happen. There's not a chance that a squad in Germany with so many games would not have decent squad depth and that's exactly what they had. They had players who stepped in and they performed just as well as the players that they had injured. Looking at the first half, we literally had no possession at all. They passed it around us like we were 16 year olds. Within the first five minutes, I all instantly already thought as soon as they went on goal the first time, within the first five to ten minutes I thought, this is not going to be our night. This is going to be one of those nights where we are going to shit the bed and just come away with a draw or a loss. And you could even tell from the start, the atmosphere was one of the poorest I've seen at a Celtic European match. Usually at home it's a fortress, everyone's absolutely bouncing, but everyone, there was definitely some tension around the, around the ground and it wasn't quite the same. And you could tell that when the match went on, we could see when they started getting shots on goal, they started going through on goal. And that's when, and it's one of the things I hate about Champions League nights at Parkhead is as soon as something goes wrong, it then starts a domino effect of the Celtic fans getting incredibly frustrated and impatient with the squad and everyone just starts shouting at the squad and people must realise that once we start doing that every 30 seconds it seemed like last night that the Celtic squad would then in turn get very impatient and frustrated and angry with themselves and that would not have helped the situation anymore. But who can blame us? Of course we're going to get frustrated and impatient when players like Nia Beaton and all of the rest of them couldn't even string two passes together. Literally, I could not count a string of passes in my right hand that we didn't give the ball away. Literally, one pass, lose it. I would actually, I would, I would have applauded if we had got more than three passes together. That's how bad our possession was last night. In the end, we did manage to keep possession. In the second half, there was a spell where we did keep lots of possession. But what's the point? What's the point in keeping possession if we're going to do nothing with it? We didn't even look like scoring last night. Do you know how many shot, shots on target we had? One. Out of ten shots, we had one on target, and that ratio is absolutely shocking. 
Gladbach had 13 shots on target. No, sorry, 13 shots and six on target. They were a lot better. They, the, the speed in which they broke on the counter-attack unsettled us completely. And we just, we didn't know what to do. And people who are sitting blaming Kolo Turi for the goals, okay, fair enough. The mistakes were his and he's owned up to that. But if it wasn't for him, we would have at least conceded, I'd say, two in the first half. He was out absolutely world-class in the first half. Second half, he was a bit complacent, lost concentration, and then the result gave away the two goals. But it's not as if uh, the finishes weren't good, the finishes were good. But I wouldn't solely blame it on players like Kolo Turi and Nier Beaton. No one turned up last night. There are a lot of players who gave it their all, namely Scott Brown, Zvichenko and Tierney. They gave it their all. But sadly, the other players, it just wasn't their night. Dembele was quiet, Sinclair was quiet. James Forrest, frankly, shot out of every single challenge that he was going to go into. Mikhail Lustig, relatively non-existent. Craig Gordon, again, there's not much else he can do with, you know, the goals they had. It was, it's very hard to, you know, keep out those, those shots on target. But that does leave us now with one point at the bottom of the group. What we need to do now is go away to Gladbach and get a win. If we don't get a win at Gladbach, a draw is simply not good enough. If we don't go away to Gladbach and get a win, we can kiss Champions League goodbye and we can even kiss Europa League goodbye. We need a win at Gladbach and get results against Man City and Barcelona. Obviously, it's a lot more difficult getting results away to Man City, but at home against Barcelona, who knows what will happen. We just need to stay on the team's side. That's the main thing that happens with Celtic fans in European nights. We get too impatient and that's, and that's when we start turning on the team. And that is when things start to go wrong. But that is going to be my short um, afterthoughts of the match. It's the morning after, so I've had time to, you know, recollect my thoughts. But this is the end of the video. If you do have any other opinions, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, comment them down below. If you have watched until this far and enjoyed, then obviously leave a like. Comment, as I've just said. Do whatever you guys like to do. And I'll see you all in the next episode.